in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Oh, the bell broke. Eustace has recently restored century-old bandsaws on the Fritz. You just ripped that off. I'm glad it wasn't the blade that came no, flying yeah. off. One of us be missing a finger. The problem is a tear in the 10-foot belt. Who knows where the pin went? The belt has uh, connectors, and they're kind of like interwoven fingers. And then there's a pin that slides through. You can't really just run out to your local hardware store and buy another flat belt. They're kind of antiquated. And so I'm going to go try to find something that we can fix it with. Ah, uh, some fence wire. Oh, yeah. That, that'll do it, I see. That'll work good. But this belt is crucial. I'm depending on this bandsaw to finish the rest of the bed. Keep it lined up. Really pay attention to that side. There it went. There we go. I wouldn't call it good as new, but I'd say it'll sure do. I think do. it's gonna work. Well, there's one way to find out how good our fix is. Yep. Well, right now, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed, but I think it's gonna work. There we go. All right, we'll see what it does. Okay. Now we've got the bandsaw up, back up and running. Uh, we're gonna finish our last few little cuts and uh, and we'll be ready to start assembling this bed. We've measured and cut and done all our mortise and tenon joints right and everything. It'll just kind of go together like a set of Lincoln logs. No nails, no screws. Yep. It's pretty neat. Well, that looks good there, Joseph. Let's stand it up. And Check it out. One, two, three. The closer this thing's to getting to finished, it starts to take shape, and Joseph and I are just really getting excited about seeing it come to life. Well, what do you think? <laughs> I think that's a bad. <laughs> that's pretty cool. A mixture of beeswax and linseed oil seals and protects the raw wood. Man, I like this. Look at that. This bed is a good example of the way mountain people in this area have been living forever, you know? Like, make something beautiful with what's around you. And uh, so I think that's a pretty prime example of that. Hopefully, a buyer is going to think that as well. But the only way to find out if the bed will sell is to head to town. I'm really hoping this bed will sell and get us some cash in our hands so we can go make that down payment. Eustis. Hey, Gary. What you got here for us? Well, today? this is that bed I've been telling you about. It's the moment of truth for Eustis's plan to make a fast buck from a handcrafted rustic bed frame. I'm really hoping this bed will sell and bring me a good price and help me get closer to getting my down payment done. Look at the joinery. So you've got dovetail right yeah, here. Dovetail on the center there. Yeah. That is beautiful. And this is white pine? Yeah, yeah, white pine. I could see it in his face that he liked this as soon as I saw him looking at the bed. How beautiful. Gary sees what we've done. He understands what goes into it. This is a real old-timey way of putting stuff together. Well, I'll tell you something. I think for something of this nature, I mean, you're probably looking at $3,500, maybe $4,000 <laughs> on something like this. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. <laughs> This fits right up our alley. These type of things bring a large dollar amount because of the, the care that's put into it and the time that goes into it. And this is the type of product that people are looking for nowadays. We could write you a check and we could take this one today. That's what we need to do. We, we need to get some money pretty fast. We got to make a payment on some land. Heavy duty. All right. We'll bring it around here and put it in the showroom. Cool. The sale brings Eustace's down payment to $29,000, about 20% of the land price. But he won't know if it's enough until he makes his bid. They say you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's where I feel like I am. Hey, can you believe that? That's pretty sweet, man. I'm loving it. <laughs> 